Hey guys, what up? It's Chunky C again. If you remember my last video, I took my Radio Master and I bound two Spectrum receivers to it. So I wanted to expand a little bit on that today. Today I want to try these FS1A10B Fly Skies and see if they will also do the same thing, see if I can bind both of them together. So will it work? I don't know. Let's find out. So like I said in the little intro there, I wanted to take this a little bit further. Um, we had pretty good luck with the Spectrum receivers that bound to the Radio Master, but I wanted to try a couple more that I had laying around. I've got uh, a couple of these uh, Fly Skies. I've also got the FS IA6B, but I decided to try these um, instead. I've got some other Orange RX, but those are also DSM2 and DSMX. So those will probably work just the same as the Spectrums will, but I wanted to try this. Um, so let's get right into it. Let me cut on my radio here. So... Welcome to HTX. Throttle warning. Switch warning. What we're going to do, I've already got everything hooked up here. I've already got a receiver hooked up and I've got my power source, so uh, I can make this a little bit quicker so you don't have to sit through everything that we did on the last video. Um, I want to start with this one right here. We're going to plug the bind plug into this one. And I've got my batteries kind of off screen here with a, a switch. So let me go into my model menu. And for this test I've selected the FlySky 2A in the multi-module. And I've got PWM, let's see, we got PWM iBus selected since these are actually iBus uh, receivers. I'll show you this here a little bit. Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit on it so you can see the settings here. Um, so let me go ahead and bind this one. Get into this here. Cut it on. You'll notice the light will start flashing. All right, so I'm going to hit bind on my radio. And it went solid. All right, so we're good with that. I'm gonna kill the power on this one. Remove. Lost. Remove my bind plug. Cut it back on. Make sure that we're good. So. Okay, so we're good there. So we know that one works. I'm gonna do the same over here. Plug into our bind port. Turn this one on. You'll notice this one will start to flash also. Yep, we're good. Got a little flash there. So let me hit bind once again. And we go solid. Telemetry recovered. Also got our telemetry. So let me turn it off. Remove my bind plug. Lost. We'll cut it back on. And servo should work. Telemetry recovered. Alright, so here's the test. Now we got both of them bound and we're going to try to cut this one on, see if it works. Oh, okay. Oh. Yep, it's flashing. Okay, so this one over here is flashing, so let's try moving. Yep, okay. So this one wasn't the success that the Spectrum had. Um, I wonder if I could try setting it in some different, uh, some different setups here. I'm going to put this on pause. I'm going to go try some stuff, and I'll be right back. Alrighty, so I kind of went off camera there because uh, I didn't want to bore you guys and make this a, a big, long 35-minute video. Um, but what I did is I went through the menu here, and I went through all of these and tried each one to make sure that I wasn't missing something. So I went through PWM, iBus, PPM, iBus. PWM and PPM S bus, uh, PWM IB16, PPM IB16, and SB16 on the both of the PWM and the PPM. None of them worked. So I guess I'm going to call this a failure. Um, I don't know. 
Uh, if I'm doing something wrong, uh, maybe somebody out there can tell me what it is. Leave me a comment down there, something to try. Um, but uh, I went through all the settings on my radio and tried to configure it each way that I knew how, and I could not get anything to work, which is really strange. It worked for the Spectrum, but not for the Fly Sky. Um, maybe it's something with the protocol for Fly Sky versus, versus the DSM for Spectrum. I don't know. But anyway, guys, that's uh, that's it. I guess that was a that was a big old fat goose egg bust right there. And uh, you know, well, at least now we know. And if you're gonna give us a shot, then you know, try it with uh, whatever receivers you have. Uh, you know, you're not gonna hurt anything. You're not gonna lose anything. So give it a shot. It might work and it might not. But be sure that if you do this, um, uh, give yourself a good range test and uh, test the system thoroughly. Uh, to make sure that everything's going to work correctly. So, but with that, I'm going to get out of here and uh, I'm going to tell you if you like this video, then, you know, give it a thumbs up and uh, hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that bell icon. And, well, if you didn't like it, hit the thumbs down, but do it right and hit it twice. And until next time, peace.